Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this simultaneous linear and radical equations. We have two equations. The first one is the radical equation. Let's call it equation one. And the second one is a linear equation. Let's call it equation two. And we want to find the values of x and y that can make these two equations true. All right, let me start with equation two, simplify it a little bit. You know this x can be written as square root of x to the power of two, because if you have this to the power of two, you know that this power of two will eliminate the square root leaving only x. So this is true. So I want to transform x and y as square root of x to the power of 2 and square root of y to the power of 2 respectively. We have square root of x to the power of 2 minus square root of y to the power of 2. This is equal to 17. But now since these are to the power of 2, we say they are difference of two squares, right? And if they are difference of two squares, we can express them as square root of x minus square root of y then multiply by square root of x plus square root of y and this will be equal to 17. remember if you should expand this you have to get this back right but from equation one we have seen that square root of x plus square root of y is 17 so we can substitute it here you can see we have square root of x plus square root of y so we have to the left square root of x minus square root of y but multiplied by 17 because that is equal to 17. To the right hand side we have 17. From here we can divide both sides by 17, right? If we do so, we realize that square root of x minus square root of y is nothing but 1. So here is another important equation. Let's call it equation three. We can use this equation three and solve it together with equation one. Equation one is square root of x plus square root of y. So let me bring it here. Square root of x plus square root of y equal to 17. Then we bring equation three, square root of x minus square root of y equal to one. So let's solve them simultaneously to find the values of x and y. I want to start by adding these two equations. If we add these two equations, you realize that square root of x plus square root of x will give us two square root of x. But square root of y plus negative square root of y will give us zero. So we move to the right hand side. To the right hand side, we have 17 plus 1, which is equal to 18. Next, we can divide both sides by 2. Therefore, square root of x will be equal to 18 divided by 2, which is equal to 9. To get rid of this square root, we can square both sides. If you square both sides, you have x equal to 9 squared, because square will cancel square root. Finally, x equal to 81. So the value of x is equal to 81. We can either substitute it in any of these equations, but I would like to subtract because you can see initially we have added, but this time around I want to subtract. So here I want us to subtract. If we subtract, square root of x minus square root of x will be 0. Square root of y minus negative square root of y will give us positive 2 square root of y we have 2 square root of y and to the right hand side 17 minus 1 will give us 16. Divide both sides by 2 again we have square root of y equal to 16 divided by 2 which is equal to 8. Take the power of 2 to both sides we have y equal to 8 squared and finally y is equal to 64 and hence the value of x is 8 to 1, while the value of y is 64. Yeah, but we can test in the main equations to see whether this is true. Our main equations was um, square root of x 
plus square root of y equal to 17. Is this true? Let me do it to the top here. Square root of 81, because x is 81, plus square root of 64. Is this equal to 17? That's the question. Um, square root of 81 is 9, plus square root of 64 is 8. Is 9 plus 8 equal to 17? Definitely. So let's test in the second equation where x is 81 and y is 64. So is 81 minus 64 equal to 17? Definitely true. And hence the values of x and y are 81 and 64 respectively. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.